Okay, Bulgarian sandbag making 101. For those of you that don't know what a Bulgarian sandbag is, check it out. Okay, a few things you can do with the bag. I mean, it's just a, a couple things. Uh, of course, flip it up, flip it up there. You can do a body weight squat with it. You can do, again, reverse lunges. Uh, you can uh, do um, uh, squat jumps. You know, if you squat down and jump because you can pull it tight against your neck, you can just take it around your shoulder and run a couple miles with it. You can do, uh, you know, bent over, bent over rows with the thing. You can do like, like wood chop swings with it. I mean, you can do so many, I'm not gonna show you all the exercise. That's a, that's a different video, but you can do a lot with these Bulgarian sandbags. Love these things. Okay, um, I bought this at the local Ace Hardware, $10.19. I have no idea what those numbers mean, but here we go. Bulgarian sandbag. Check it out. I love them. As you just saw, they're so versatile. Um, first thing you do, cut the nozzle off. Grab a pair of scissors. You want to cut a round and these scissors kind of suck, too. They are not the best scissors in the world. What you want to do is cut this. I'm going to do it quick and talk fast so you don't have to watch this video for too long. Boom. Check it out. Cut that off. You're going to save that for later, though. Once you're here, once you're here, cut it right down the middle of that circle. So you were here, cut it right down the middle of that circle. The first start of the Bulgarian sandbag. And I tell you what, I'm gonna keep moving this camera around. By the way, by the way, welcome, welcome to my 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 um this is where all the magic happens. This is the gym of course is out here. This is my workroom uh dash office. Uh love it in here. Could spend hours in here listening to Joe Rogan podcast and creating different uh, pieces of exercise equipment. Anyhow, I just worked out myself. Feel good right now. Got a little exercise high because the exercise high is the only way to fly. Okay, um, if you can see this, you want this. You want it in a, a circle. A circle. Okay, you got. You see that right there? And what you want to do is get a little twist tie. I think that's what they're called. Twist ties, or maybe those are the things you put around your, your bread bags. Then there's, I don't know if these might be something different, but start to fold right here, nice and tight. Fold it nice and tight all the way up like this. I like to measure about, about five and a half inches. So five and a half inches, take the tie. Zip it in there really quick. What I like to do is I like to, my, my uh, construction friend, Sean Iliff, he, he, he I, I don't know anything about tools. I call these the pinchers. Um, I, I don't know what these things are called, but grab some pliers like this, pull it tight. I'll call him for like a, uh, like a saw and I'll, I'll be talking to him and I'll be like, hey, can I have the zzz, you know, the one that goes zzz? Or that would be like the Dremel, and then I'll be able to call him, and I'll go, can I have the t -t 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 -t? and he'll be like, oh yeah, I'll bring that over, the um, Sawzall. Anyhow, um, you didn't need to hear that stuff. Pull it tight. Pull it tight. I like to grab two of them, get two of them, put it right, tuck it right next to the other one. You can fast forward through this too. You can watch it, save it, watch it later, because this is going to take you to another fitness level. Pull it tight. Now go back to the other one. Pull it tight. Okay. Now what I'll do now is I will cut. I will cut the ends off like this. Cut them off. Get them nice and short and tight. Boom. Okay. There you go. Now I'm going to change the camera around a little bit. Now we'll start filling them with sand. Okay. So bag of 50 pounds of sand. These are going to be, by the way, these are going to be 37 pound Bulgarian sandbags, 37 pounders. Uh, so get a cup, start filling this bag up and shaking it down. 
let me show you what to do here in a second. But, um, I mean, you can make these things. I've made 20 of these things. And I'll tell you what, adding uh, 37 pounds to your squats, your hiles, any exercise you do works. Gets the heart rate up a little bit. So fill it up, shake it down a little bit. Shake it to the end. This is this is important to really. I'm gonna stand up and shake it out. Get back into it. Dig into that sand. I mean, somebody once told me. Uh, no, you know what? My friend uh, Jim Fox had a instructor at Bowling Green State University and the instructor once gave him a piece of advice said hey when your mom called you in for dinner when you were outside as a kid playing what were you playing with what were you doing if you can do what you were doing when you were a kid and try to make a living of that do that I'm playing with sand I was climbing trees doing pull-ups I made a living of it out of it Okay, check this out. I mean, knock it on the ground, really pack it tight. If you want to, out of this uh, brand of inner tube tire, this inner tube, you want to pack it. Sometimes I'll say, like, giddy up, giddy up! Gosh darn, that, was, that wasn't very funny. I'm trying to make this kind of comical and funny, but as you can see, it's not. Um, I'll get back to you. I'm going to fill the rest of this up and then show you what to do. Okay, this is where it gets a little tricky. I put it in a bucket, actually, and weighed it, and it's about 36 and a half pounds, close to 37 pounds. Um, I like them to just be over 35 with a tire this size. Uh, it gets a little tricky here, okay? So what you have to do is you want to, again, start from the outside and roll it, roll it in this way. I had a friend here yesterday that helped me out with this, and uh, it does work a little better with two people, especially when you're duct taping it together. Uh, but... So I'm going to start at the edge. Can you can you see that? Take that down a little bit. Okay. So from the edge, I'm going to roll it in real nice and tight. I'll show you the finished product here too. Have your twist tie ready to roll. It's an art with just one person. Don't, you th don't think you're going to get them looking as good as I have them the first time. But you probably will. Okay. Grab, grab your... I tuck it in a little bit. You're going to be duct taping this, so uh, it should all work out good. And pull it tight. Pull it tight. So I'm going to show you the finished product here in a minute. What you're going to do next is you're going to take your little thing you cut off at the beginning. I'm going to save that because I use them for my bicycles if I need them extra. Okay, and you're going to cut cut that piece of rubber off. And you, this is a little thicker. This part's a little thicker. So cut that and cut it, cut little hunks off. Again, these scissors suck. I think my daughter used these in kindergarten. Anyhow. Um, see, that's, a, that's pretty, pretty thick. And what you're going to do is, I'm going to take the camera off and I'm going to show you. You're going to take this piece, you're going to take this piece, and because those can get a little sharp when you're grabbing them, you're going to put that piece of rubber over those, and then you're going to put a piece of duct tape, duct tape around there, just to protect your hands and they, don't, they won't uh, dig into your hands. The finished product. You know, um, 37 pounder. It doesn't have the handles. If you go online, you can get a 37 pounder. The first one I saw was $212. It caught, this one cost me about $12.27 to, to, to make. But see how I, I wrap the duct tape nice around there? Gosh, you can do it. I got a warm feeling inside right now after making that.